Yo, what is up guys, it is Uncle Kobe, and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 Weapon Breakdown and Comparison video. In the last episode, we covered two snipers, the DSR-50 and the Ballista, and it got awesome ratings, so thank you guys again for that. However, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two powerhouse SMGs that are the PDW-57 and the Scorpion EVO. Black Ops 2 is considered to be dominated by submachine guns, and you can see both of these guns going to work in nearly every game you play in. I do believe one is a little more user-friendly to beginner players, and one is super effective in a veteran player's hands. But like always, I'm going to be taking a look at some stats, recoil patterns, and bullet spreads pertaining to these two. So sit back and enjoy the video. And if you do, don't forget to smack that like button. So let's get started. First, taking a look at the personal defense weapon, also known as the PDW. It is coming in with 35 to 16 point damage, making it the only other SMG other than the MSMC to have the ability to take out enemies with three bullets from close range. While long range, you're looking at about six shots to kill. For the Scorpion EVO, it is rocking the standard 33 point damage that is common between most of the SMGs in this game. Of course, meaning that it is going to take at least 4 bullets to take out an enemy. Its long range damage is slightly better at 18 points, but those 2 points really won't make a difference 99% of the time, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Taking a look at the fire rate, I'm sure most of you know that the Scorpion shoots ridiculously fast at around 1100 rounds per minute, give or take about 20 rounds, which makes this weapon the fastest shooting gun in the game. Up close, this gun seems like it instantly kills enemies because how fast it shoots, but it also makes it much harder to handle long range gunfights. The PDW however comes in at an average 720 rounds per minute which is much easier to handle at all distances but if you do end up face to face with the scorpion you most likely will get mowed down instantly unless of course you're a host which means you're unstoppable but moving on what makes the PDW so effective is its massive 50 bullet magazine. This gun can easily be compared to the P90. It even has that signature flat looking magazine. By slapping on an extended clip you're looking at about 67 bullets at your disposal which is starting to get up there at the LMG's range. The scorpion has a rather small magazine 32 bullets and when paired with its insanely fast rate of fire you're going to be running out of bullets fairly quickly so you're going to want to make sure you're hitting the target as much as possible. With extended clips you're going to have 43 bullets which is still smaller than the PDW standard clip so as you can see the magazine on the PDW is just really one of a kind. However with that large clip the PDW also has the slowest reload time at about 3 seconds while the Scorpion reloads at little under 2 seconds which is a little below average so even though the PDW has a terribly long reload time the 50 round magazine easily compensates for it. Now taking a look at the recoil patterns for these two weapons which as you all know has been updated slightly in that recent patch. The PDW has more of a gradual left to right horizontal recoil while the Scorpion has a straight up and down vertical recoil. Typically straight up and down recoils are fairly easy to handle with some practice. The AK-47 in past Call of Duties is a perfect example of this. However, that's only because of its low rate of fire, whereas the Scorpion's fire rate is really high which makes the gun kick up fairly quickly. As for the hip fire spreads, this also was affected by the patch, and as you can see, they're a little bigger than before. I kind of see that much of a difference from before and after the patch, but the Scorpion does have a slightly better spread than the PDW. The bullets are more compact, even though there is that increased hip fire recoil, but that little bit of recoil tends to work in your favor when those close quarter hip fire battles, because most people tend to aim way too low when hip firing, and this also makes the Scorpion even deadlier close range. But when it all comes down to it, which gun is better for you is decided by what kind of player you are. If you're a really experienced player that likes to get up all in the enemy's face and can handle that higher recoil, the Scorpion Evo is an extremely deadly and effective weapon. However, I do think the PDW is the overall better weapon because that large magazine, it's strong damage and it's fairly low recoil. That's my opinion, feel free to agree or disagree and leave your opinion down in the comments down below. But that's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. These videos do take a lot of time to make even though they are quite short, so if you can please leave a rating, I would appreciate it very much. I got a bunch of awesome videos coming in the near future that I think you guys will enjoy, but again, thank you guys for watching. Check out yesterday's video on the left if you haven't seen it. I show you a pretty helpful trick to survive and destroy hunter killer drones, and on the right I explain a new game mode coming to you in Black Ops 2, so hopefully you guys are having a great day. This is Uncle Kobe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.